Hello, and welcome to Pat on the Back for December 4th, 2020. If you remember back from last week, um, we said we would be reading two versions or two um, weeks worth of Pats on the Back. So here we go. Let's jump right into it. Uh, this first Pat on the Back is for Lewis, who is a healthcare center nurse, and, it, and um, this Pat on the Back Thanks, Lewis, for being so helpful and kind and um, always able to count on him or always being able to count on him. So thank you, Lewis, for doing a great job and congrats on that pat on the back. Uh, this next one is for Taylor in the dietary um, department in the healthcare center. And it says um, that Taylor is so helpful and um, just goes above and beyond and helping to serve the residents. So thank you, Taylor, for being a great addition um, to the healthcare center. This next one is for George in security. Um, it says that George is so good about checking every nook and cranny in the building and always has a smile on his face and makes sure to say, he always makes sure to say hello when he sees either employees or residents. So thanks, George, and congrats. Uh, our next one is for um, April, who is a healthcare center nurse, and she is a great team player and is always smiling and positive. So thank you, April, for being a great team player. Team, it says team. Pl it says team player in there, and I know I've said that I think twice now, but thank you. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, this next one is for Deborah in home health. And this is from a resident writes, uh, I look forward to seeing Deborah in the morning because she comes early and always has a smile on her face. So thank you, Deborah. Uh, I know the smiles go a long way and uh, changing uh, everyone's day for the better. So remember to keep that smile on. Every, all. <laughs> uh, this next one is for Richard in the post office. And I'm partly laughing because Richard is he's just awesome. We're so glad to have him here. Um, Richard knew that um, this particular resident was looking for a 2021 weekly appointment calendar. And when it arrived at the post office, um, this resident was in quarantine. And Richard knew that they wanted it, so he made sure to deliver it. And that is just a wonderful example of going above and beyond and making sure that the um, residents are happy and that their needs are met. So thank you so much, Richard, for your help in that and um, thinking of others first. This, is, this next pat on the back is for Carol Finch, who is in transportation. And it said um, that Carol was in the area when a resident was needing a, a assistance with something and Carol offered right away to jump in and help, and um, she was efficient and made it so that this resident could get uh, what they needed done. So thank you so much and for being able to perform the task immediately. So thank you so much, Carol, in transportation. This next pat on the back, and again, I know, I, I feel like I keep saying that, but we have double the pets in the back. We're so lucky this week to be able to feature our employees um, for two weeks worth. So here is our next pat on the back for Miriam, who is a healthcare center unit clerk. And it says, thanks for being a great team player and um, for helping pass the mail out to this employee. So uh, for this employee, excuse me. So thank you, Miriam, for helping. And this is for this next one is for our Armida in housekeeping, and it says that um, a few employees want to thank Armida uh, for always being having such a great attitude with the staff and the residents, and um, you are extremely appreciated and you are a rock star. And I agree. Thank you so much for being great. Um, here we have our last pat on the back for today's reading. We have, uh, it's for Rebecca Forsty, who is, I believe, a um, in the healthcare center, if I'm correct. I may be wrong on that. 
Uh, so it says, Rebecca is so helpful and always has a smile on her face. Um, thank you for helping the residents and um, for helping out with an activity um, and being so easy to work with. So yes, this is definitely in the healthcare center as I read it. Uh, so thank you to Rebecca and congrats on the pat on the back for all of our winners today. You are all doing great and we appreciate the residents in writing these pats on the back. Um, they really do help us out. And I know I feel like I say that every week, but it is true. And I can tell you that I, as talking to employees, that uh, these pats really do make a difference in their day. Um, and we appreciate all you do for us as residents. And to the employees, thank you for doing such a great job um, and keeping a smile on your face and helping where you see a need. So thanks, and we hope you have a wonderful week, and take care, be safe. Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a little time out to say happy birthday to all of our residents and employees who have birthdays in the coming week. So for residents, we have Sandra Offenkrantz, Vivian Pashoda, Joyce Winston, Eileen Stevens, and Julius Altman. So happy birthday to all the residents. And for our staff, we have Alvaro Vargas, Matt Kuhn, Kathy McCollum, Veronica DeMaio. Thank you all for tuning in and have a very happy birthday and everyone have a great week. Bye.